Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone, I'm Ryan. Today's video, we are going to review another book, but this video is going to be a little bit different because uh, unlike previous video, I actually made a script for the previous video and I don't have to like edit too much. But in this video, I want it to suffer. So I am going to not filter what I'm talking about and I'm just going to treat you like a train. I don't have anything prepared right now, so we're just going to go with my raw thoughts after reading the book. I finished reading this book at 8 a.m. and I was like 11, 24. So as the title says, we are going to review a book called I Who Have Never Known Men by Jacqueline Herrmann. And by the way, this is an e-reader. I'm going to review them later in the other video because I've been using them for like a, a year and a half. I felt like I saved a lot of money because most of the books, I got it for free. Not illegal way. Today we are going to talk about I Who Have Never Known Men by Jacqueline Herrmann. And by the way, Jacqueline Herrmann is a Belgian author and started off with French language and then it was translated to English. And this is the first book I think from her that was translated to English. This book is old, by the way. It talks about 40 girls who were imprisoned for years until one time there was like siren coming off and all the guards left all of a sudden and they also can left because someone from the girls held the door and then they were able to go out and they finally experienced outside after years trapped in a prison. That was the situation in this book. But most importantly, the main character, I don't think she has a name in the book, um, was the only person out of 40 girls who was raised in the prison. So uh, people say the girls said that she was kind of mistakenly put in the prison because she was so young. She was like a baby at that time. The early pages of the book, this girl started to go into teenagerhood and she started to feel something. This book explore this girls starting to grow and being a woman. So what I like about the book and my review overall about this book, like everyone else, I knew the book from Instagram slash TikTok because most of the reels that you saw in Instagram, I think was actually firstly published in TikTok and then people kind of uploaded them as reels. And I got this title from Instagram, I believe. I play his hold in my Libby account and then I got it. That's when I started reading it. And I read it, I think for three days um, because I got like plenty of stuff to do, but this book is relatively really, really short around 216 pages. So it's relatively shorter. I think I haven't really got into the point where I wanted to search a lot about the book. I don't have any expectation for the book whatsoever. I just wanted to know if this book is really worth the read. So yeah, that's where my situation came from. We are going to go with my feelings reading the book. It is the way that it talks about every human nature that you can imagine. It talks about grief, it talks about relief, it talks about imagination, sisterhood, the beauty in having friends, the beauty in having someone to rely to, and also it talks about survival and every human nature, human feelings, human whatever that you can think of, it's in the book. Okay, so what I really like about the book is the main character, of course. The main character is this type of person who is so focal about how she felt, the way that she feels like so outcasted because everyone else had life before. He bunk her and she doesn't have her, so she felt like she doesn't know most of what they say when they talk about like relationship, when they talk about like being in school, being educated, being um, able to grow plants and stuff like that, you know, just simple stuff like that. This girl doesn't know anything because she had been in bunker for the rest of her life and finally went out and so everything started to, to change in her like she finally knew how trees look like how grass look like how stairs look like because nobody really told her to and nobody really able to show the picture of stairs to her because nobody has cell phones at that time the girl feeling of being outcasted to slowly develop friendship with all of the girls a really beautiful story to follow I don't know with you, but I really love when women has like friendship stories to grow. They don't know each other that well and then they started to grow this friendship that is so unforgettable, so beautiful. I found it really mesmerizing and I found it really 
pretty i really like that i really like the friendship of women it's just so good the main character is a very likable character to follow and um the story of her starting off with being in a bunker and then slowly getting to experience outside and getting to experience or having to survive in outside world it's very full of eager to follow i said it again the sisterhood in this is so strong and i I really like how everyone is so comfortable with each other and everyone is so caring to each other. It's it's just such a beautiful thing. Also, what I really like about the book is the way that they acknowledge losing someone. They acknowledge losing someone, they acknowledge the grief that followed with it. And the sisterhood moment is very important because each of them has like battle in their mind and outside or simply the longing of having the past life that they had built. And then suddenly they were like trapped in this prison by someone that they don't even know it's just something that is really important like having that sisterhood having that someone to talk to and having someone to remember how life felt like before everything that happened is just really important and i feel like having that sisterhood moment is very beautiful in this book something i cannot really describe through words so there was also a point where the main character had a, had a disease right so this main character who had no name was starting off with like an ability to have periods to the end of the book she finally realized that she had disease in her womb because she finally able to read and she finally able to kind of diagnose what she had and then yeah and i'm going to read some of the quotes that i saved from this book so i have so many highlights at first some of the more desperate or more active women had tried the knife or the rope and that showed how closely the guards were watching us because they immediately heard the crack of the whip. So I, I, I don't think I have said it, but basically when you are touching each other in the prison, even too close to each other, the guard will crack the whip so that you realize that they were looking at you. You don't get to break the rules. I suppose I am an old woman, but I still love looking at my face. I don't know if it's beautiful or ugly, but it is the only human face I ever see. I smile at it and receive a friendly smile back. So, it's so beautiful, man! Oh my god, but I can't say that. It's gonna be a spoiler. I have so many highlights. I am going to upload them in my Goodreads account. So go to my Goodreads account and read all the highlights. If you read the highlights, you are going to read all the spoilers. So read at your own cause. Um, do I recommend the book? We are reaching to the end, guys. Do I recommend the book? I most definitely do. I give this book like 4 out of 5 and please don't ask why not 5 because I have so many lists to check to make a book considered a 5 star read. That's about it. I do really recommend the book especially if you're a person who's kind of still curious about life, about... Honestly, I got nothing to say. This book is just like a reset in my brain. Some wire in my brain just kind of got reconnected by some reason after reading this book. This is how good this book is. Oh my god. I'm also going to read an afterword in the book. The women can continue to find a sort of beauty in companionship, adapting to a new way of being, existing in an environment empty of what they know, but still underpinned by compassion. Oh my god. And by the way, I cried after reading the book. No, I cried during almost the end of the book, so... But it's still because I'm sensitive, so... I don't know if you're going to cry too. Having to imagine someone had to live alone is already such a huge kick in me, so... This book also carried a message of being alone, solitude... All of those. Those are like heavy topping in the book that was like carried most in the book, so... I really 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 enjoy it if you, and i think you will also enjoy it if you love those type of topics that talks about human and their connection with each other and yeah stuff like that i think that's it guys thank you so much for watching this video i am very very much looking forward to this book that i also am currently reading in also the same device um and that is radium girls by kate moore i'm so excited to finish that book i'm still on 55 percent of the book so yeah i'm still like a long way through and i only have like one day left uh before i have to return them back to the online library but i'm not gonna turn on my internet so that they will not return by themselves and that's it thank you so much for watching this video see you soon or later yeah have a nice day, have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Assalamualaikum.